I proudly present to you the Honey Badger class of 2023. I think it's safe to say I'm passionate about metal detecting and I wanted to create what I consider to be the perfect beach scoop. And this is where the madness comes in. Honey Badger is a very young brand, but we're already on our third iteration of beach scoops. And I'm gonna show you all of them. The first iteration, which was never released to the public, did not have our solution to stop the shaft from wobbling. All right, so this is why we went into the scoop business. Give. And we're not mentioning the company. No give whatsoever. No give. In fact, that's going to be our tagline. Rattles are for babies. Honey Badger 2 was the first iteration released to the public. I have been abusing mine for over a year now. This is well tested and it stood up and uh, it is a great scoop. Of the 25 scoops that we sold, one actually came back and we learned from that one that came back. I'm a believer in transparency and we had one get caught under a pipe. The warranty covers manufacturer errors, but uh, we wanted our customer to be happy. We replaced it and it was a learning opportunity. It was only one, but that one helped us build a better product. So let me show you how we made it even stronger. Now look at the difference in the plate here. Honey Badger 2, Honey Badger 3. So this is meant to be strong. What's also different about Honey Badger 3 versus Honey Badger 2 is we have the plates in here that reinforce the scoop even more. And we have some extra welds. It still has the jewelry catcher. Now the design of the holes is a special thing in itself. It is a efficient pattern that sand can get through, but the smallest of American coins, at least currently minted right now, are dimes. And you can't fit a dime through this. And we have a jewelry catcher also, just to show you. Um, you're not gonna be able to fit a dime through the jewelry catcher, but look at what it does with jewelry. These holes are more narrow and smaller. And let's, again, just for demonstration purposes, you can't fit a dime through it. And also, you can't fit jewelry through it. So this, it would go through this or most beach scoops. But if you were out in the water in the fine sand and you have a faint signal, which could be something like one of these, you hold the scoop down here and you shake it, the sand comes through, but the jewelry does not. Now, what did we keep from the last iteration of the Honey Badger scoop? It still has the plate that stops the wobble. It is still made of the thick stainless steel. It still has the dimensions where you move a lot of sand. Yeah, here's a quick look at the dimensions of the Honey Badger scoop. Make no mistake, this version of it is our sand mover. It moves a lot of sand and that creates efficiency. You'll see the weight in a moment and I personally don't think that it is a heavy scoop. It is light, but people have asked for uh, smaller versions of this. Everybody has a different preference. This one was built to be what I consider to be ideal. We have smaller versions in the works. Uh, I hope to reinvest whatever I make from this to create the smaller version of the scoop and put it to market this year. The scoop itself weighs 50. just over 50 ounces. 50.1 ounces equals 3.13 pounds. Now the carbon fiber that we are using is the thick carbon fiber. This is the stuff that will last you a very, 
long time. Now I've got plenty of shafts, but there are five special ones. All right, so we have a special type of shaft. We have the travel shaft. I only have five of these right now. So these are meant to unscrew and come apart and fit in your suitcase and still not have that wobble in the shaft, which drives me crazy. And here is a close-up of one side of the travel shaft. With all the research and development that has gone into this scoop, I hope you can see that I am committed to excellence with it and providing you with a superior product. That is what I think it is. This scoop was made in America and I made it because I wanted to create what I consider to be the perfect beach scoop. I want you to think back to when you bought your first great metal detector. It is very similar with beach scoops. You will notice a difference with quality. Merrill, why don't you just say it? Okay, fine. Samurais notice the difference in the quality of their tools. Their samurai swords and their sticks of iron. I've got 25 samurai swords ready to ship to you right now. All right, here's how you buy. I'll have it linked in the video description and the pinned comment. You're going to go to my website, iratemetaldetectors.com. I've been working quite hard on it. It is evolving. So you'll get my thoughts on metal detectors too. And you're going to go to the shop. And it's going to be the first three options in the shop. Honey Badger Scoop without any shaft. It costs $319.99. If you add our shaft to it, it is going to cost $419.99. $100 more. And Honey Badger Scoop with the travel shaft that you could fit in luggage is $449.99. I stand by my product and this is what I consider to be the perfect beach scoop. We've got 25 in this batch and we are aiming to ship next week. Thanks for watching.